Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Eric and welcome back to my channel. So once again I am back on No McDonald. As you know I recently just got introduced to him and now I am stuck on a roller coaster that I can't get out of and I'm absolutely loving it. So today I'm gonna be reacting to No McDonald Mod Jock uh, with on Conan O'Brien. I haven't seen it so this is my first time checking it out. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Now, not all your material comes uh, from, the, from the news, is that right? You know, no, you, some you... of my material comes, my strongest material comes from real life. Real life? Like, for instance, today I was driving in a, a car. Mm -hmm. You were kind enough to bring a car to bring this old chunk of coal here to the studio. <laughs> we, send, we send cars for our guests, yes. Yeah, so I got in it, and that's, I, you know, I get material that way, so my driver... What do you mean? What, what, how do you get material that way? You get in the car, and what happens? Uh, my driver tells me a joke. <laughs> The driver we sent to pick you up told you a joke. Yeah. And you're going to tell it now on the show. Yeah, that's how I get a lot of my material. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why don't we just have him on next time? Uh, that guy. You, yeah, that guy. No, wait till you hear me do it. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy, he goes, uh, uh -huh. he, I say, uh, I'll be the guy. Okay. Uh, a moth, <laughs> a moth goes into a podiatrist's office. A moth goes into a podiatrist's office. Right. You are correct. A moth goes into a podiatrist's office, mm -hmm. and uh, the podiatrist's office says, what's the problem? And the moth says, what's the problem? Where do I begin, man? He goes, I go to work for uh, Gregory Olinovich, and uh, all day long I work. <laughs> Honestly, Doc, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't even know if Gregory Olinovich knows. He only knows that he has power over me. And that seems to bring him happiness. But I don't know. I wake up in a malaise, and I, I walk here and there. And the podiatrist says, oh, yeah? And the moth goes, yes. And he goes, uh, at night, I, I sometimes wake up, and I turn to some old lady in my bed that's on my arm, a lady that I once loved, Doc. I, I don't know where to turn to. My youngest, Alexandria. She fell in the, in, the, in the cold of last year. Mm -hmm. The cold took her down, as it did many of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my other boy. <laughs> what and is this is the hardest pill to swallow, Doc. <laughs> my other boy, Gregario <laughs> Ivanilidovich. I no longer love him. <laughs> As much as it pains me to say, when I look in his eyes, all I see is the same cowardice that I, that I catch when I take a glimpse of my own face in the mirror. <laughs> if only the cowardice was stronger, then perhaps... <laughs> What's going on? Perhaps I could bring myself to reach over to that cocked and loaded gun that lays on the bedside behind me. And in this hellish facade, once How and long for a all, drive was this? <laughs> <laughs> do you live in the valley? Where do you live? Please, sorry. He says, Doc. <laughs> sometimes I feel like a spider, even though I'm a moth. <laughs> just barely hanging on to my web with an everlasting fire underneath me. I'm not feeling good. And so the, moss, the, the doctor says, Moth, man, you're troubled. But you should be seeing a psychiatrist. Why on earth did you come here? And then the moth said, because the light was on. My congratulations to anyone who stuck it through to the end. <laughs> so, so Norm. What? <laughs> we're pretty much out of time. I. No. Well, listen. Uh, uh, it's over. 
What's that? Do it. Uh, we have. A, I understand you've been you've been pitching television shows well, recently to networks, show. I have and one you want to pitch one here is on that the History right? Channel. I uh, we just did the pilot. I don't know if you guys like Ice Road Truckers. Uh, a lot of people love that show. Yeah, it's a good show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is the uh, this is the uh, sequel. I starred. It's called Ice Road Toll Booth Operator. <laughs> Let's take a look. Hey. Icy enough for you? It's cold out there today, Johnny. Be careful there with that big truck. This road's a death trap. Uh, earlier I saw uh, down the ways a bit, uh, there was uh, sirens and uh, all sorts of uh, emergency vehicle belching black smoke. I think a truck went on fire. 50 cents. What the fuck? Be careful out there. Yeah. This is when you realize how those snow tires were a good investment after all. So anyway, what the hell was that sound? It sounded like ice. Like cracking ice. Whoa! Some ice cracked beneath my feet. All right. Very good show. Uh, <laughs> Norm will be <laughs> at the Comedy Works South in Greenwood Village, Colorado, September 11th and 12th, and at the Improv in Irvine, California, September 24th. Yeah, if you go there early. Through the 27th. <laughs> That was no McDonald Moth. And it felt like he dragged on the joke for a good four minutes. Because <laughs> it was really, really good. But it he literally dragged it on for no reason just for the sake of it. And for some reason it made it much better. Much, much better. Because uh, the joke isn't funny it's just what he the way he told the story how he dragged it on just getting you at the edge of your seat and just nailing it at the end it was so good I mean it was and that show uh ice road trucker tall boat I'm gonna check it out if it's the real thing because I don't think it's the real thing because that looked really awkward as well but but it was funny awkward you know what I mean it was good I really <laughs> like I still can't believe this. And I love Conan. He did not interrupt. Like some other, what do you call it, ho uh, what do you call it, uh, talk show host. Talk too much, interrupt too much. But Conan knew what's happening. So he left it on. He knew what Norm's doing. And he went along with it. That's why I love Conan. And that was brilliant. I really did enjoy this. And I hope you did as well. If you did, please like, subscribe and share. I'll see you guys next time.